Hello everyone. Today we'll be making fireworks on scratch. So here, this is the scratch website where you can use block code to create any game or anything you would like. This is the main page and you may want to log in like me and create a username. I will press create right here. It will load for a bit. Creating blocks. Okay. Since here it says untitled, we will name it fireworks display. Okay. This is the cat sprite. We will rename it rocket. Since this cat isn't a rocket, we will have to draw our own rocket. So we'll go into the costumes tab, press paint, we can delete the other cat sprite. Okay, let's draw a rectangle with blue, with a darker blue, yes, I'll draw a rectangle. Now we have our rocket sprite. We will set the size to 50 since it's pretty big. Drag it here. Now it's time to start coding. So we'll go to events. When flag clicked, hide in the look category. Go to control, bring a forever loop. Wait until Fencing, mouse down, go to X in motion, go to X something Y something. We will go to X, mouse X. So it, the X is left to right, the Y is up to down. So if my mouse is here, the rocket will go to my mouse here and then we'll go to looks and show and make sure the y is negative 180 next we're going to go into the motion glide one second to x something y something go to sensing to x mouse x to Y, mouse Y. So it will glide one second to our mouse. Then we'll go to looks and hide again. And broadcast a new message in control, events, and it will be called bang. That will be when the fireworks will bang. So we'll put that here. Now let's run the project. The fireworks will, when you click, it will fire up to your mouse in a second. That's really cool. So now I'm going to create a background. I'm going to press this, choose a backdrop. And now I'm going to choose mm, stars here. This will be a cool background. Test it looks pretty nice now go to the press the backdrop and now you have a blank one we're going to do when I receive bang we're going to make another backdrop this time we will paint it it's just going to be a white screen so we don't need to do anything when I receive bang, we will switch the back 
backdrop to that plain white which is backdrop two and then we will wait 0 0.1 seconds then switch backdrop back to stars yes so now we're going to make the actual firework so we're going to choose a sprite we're going to paint this time we're going to make a tiny circle in the middle I'm going to zoom in a lot I'm going to make it blue but it doesn't matter what color you choose because it will be in the code next time I'm going to have a darker outline okay So, when flag clicked, hide, and repeat 300, change the 10 to 300, create clone on myself, which will create a duplicate of it. So, we don't need to create 300 of the same sprite, we can just create a clone of it. So now, I'm going to go to the event. When I receive bang, I'm going to create a new variable called speed for this sprite only. We will set speed to operators, pick random. 0 0.1 which will be the slowest amount the firework will come to 3 which will be the fastest amount we will go to looks set ghost effect to 0 and change color effect by 25 motions will go go to not random position but go to rocket, point in direction, pick random, pick random, negative 180 to 180. Yes, we'll go to looks and show, repeat 50, jagger repeat loop. Change 10 to 50. Move. Move 10 steps. But we will change the 10 to the speed variable. Now, add another repeat loop to the bottom. Repeat 50 again. Set speed. Set speed to multiply operator speed multiplied by 0 0.9. Then we will move speed steps to duplicate and we'll change ghost effect. Change Ghost effect effect by pick random one to three and then we will hide. Let's try running the project. Look at those fireworks. Don't they look cool? We're going to name this sprite fireworks. So we can hide our variable speed. And now 
we have our own firework display. This looks really cool and it was really fun. We can create something more, like colourful. So, if you want the fireworks to be colourful, go to Looks, Change Colour Effect, to pick random minus 100 to 100. This will probably create multicoloured fireworks. You can choose anything you would like. I like the multicolours fireworks the best. Well, this was fun to do. You can even change the size to 70 maybe. And it will be a bit smaller. You could even set the size to pick random too. Set size to pick and um, maybe 50 to 150. Let's see what this will look like. There's different sizes which makes it look cool. Well, this is the end of our fireworks tutorial. You can always share it and my project link will be in the description. Thanks for watching. Bye.